G'day, it's uh, Dan here from League of Brewers in Nelson, top of the south in New Zealand. And uh, today I wanted to talk to you guys about uh, foam and, uh, and control on your um, pouring a, a decent glass of beer or cider. So um, a couple of you people out there might be struggling with uh, foam or um, uh, an uneven pour. So I wanted to demonstrate with this uh, Duotype Flow Controller Ball Lock Connector um, how to fix that issue. Sometimes you'll over carbonate your beer. In this case, I've over carbonated some cider. So that happens from time to time. And I'm going to demonstrate uh, the difference between using one of these and not using one of these. So right here I've got some cider which I'm going to pour using a standard um, Cornet disconnect there. So there's nothing special there, that's just a standard uh, corny disconnect. And my pint is probably going to come out a little, a little, look at that, foam. Um, so that's not the best pour I've ever had. Um, Matt, would you like that? Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> Enjoy. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to disconnect the standard corny connection. And I'm going to connect my flow control connector. That just like that, very easy to connect. We're in business. Okay, let's see what this point looks like when I give it a pour. We're actually getting some cider with this one. Um, the last one had a lot more foam, it came rushing out. Um, this is starting to resemble uh, what a, a pint of cider should look like. So there we are. We'll probably enjoy this one a bit more, Matt. Yeah. Don't <laughs> mind if I do. Cheers. So that's the, um, yeah, the flow controller. Um, I've also got another setup here. Uh, which is for portable mini kegs. Um, normally, it's set up with a with a picnic tap. Normally, with a picnic tap and uh, some Eva barrier that's uh, four mil in a diameter, you'd need about two meters to get a good flow at ten psi. With this guy, I've I've got under a meter here, so nice short line. I don't have to worry about foam. I can just control the speed by altering this knob here which um, basically shuts it down or opens it up so if you've got problems with with foam um, and pouring that there will take care of a lot of your problems sort of following on from my last video which was uh, multiple pressures on different lines uh, that flow control ball connector will uh, take take care of all your issues as well and um, yeah it's a bit of a balancing act to be fair you need uh, a certain amount of length on a hose line and a certain amount of diameter. So normally around about 1.8 metres of 4 mil in a diameter will take care of your foam. But if you over carbonate and you run into problems then yeah, the flow control ball connector will, uh, will help solve your problems. So yeah, I'd love to hear your feedback on any of you guys that have used these or feel free to ask any questions. Um, if you like the video give us a thumbs up if you if you want to join the league um, please do so and um, yeah you can follow us on Instagram Facebook or just give us a holler all right happy brewing there guys cheers thank you